someone's a little sick, we'll just kind of just make sure they're not practicing as much at, on those particular days, but everything else is exactly the same. So I guess that includes then like, you know, the kind of preparation that goes when you go on a long road stretch, everything is, is the same? It's the same kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's the same type of training, you know, it's, it depends on the week. Each week will be different if we have two matches or three matches in a week. I think recovery is important, you know. Um, we have pretty much a system to where we're going to train hard and we're going to maximize when we're on court, but then when we need to rest, we need to shut it down because it's something you want your, your best players to play in every match. So you don't want to you don't want to go crazy and overtrain, but you don't want to undertrain and not be ready. So there's a good balance. You have to be ready to have the players be healthy and also have them ready physically to, to push through a hard physical match. It goes into kind of potentially having back pain, like, like days or matches, like the recovery, like this, like this match. I think they're, you know, it's, they're fine two days in a row like that. I actually prefer it because in a tournament setting, let's say we go on and we win two matches in a row, we qualify for national indoors. Well, you've got 16 teams there. Whoever makes the final, that's going to be playing four days in a row, right? So, so I think it's good for guys to play back to back and get used to that. But uh, the recovery time, not having that much recovery time, and not kind of babying them to have a day off in between. So, but they're great athletes. You know, two days in a row of playing is is nothing. I mean, we, we train very hard. There should be no excuses playing several days in a row. Coach, which player or players do you are you excited to see grow this year? Are you expecting like any particular storyline or anything like that? Are you particularly excited to see like what kind of players are going to grow? And can you tell me uh, if, if any and how? Yeah, I think the obvious storyline right now mm. is you've got we've got a great doubles team um, with Mate and Dom, number one in the country. Um, you know, again, I don't really pay attention to the rankings too much individually or team right now. I think, you know, Luke and Emil obviously won the regional, so I think we're very good in doubles. It's easy to say that. We just got to keep on proving ourselves every time out. We can't just rely on, hey, we won a few tournaments in the fall. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I think Monte did a great job last year finishing off, and he beat a couple top 10 players in the spring, um, and he had, he had a good fall. I'm actually just excited to see us play and come together and play like a top 20 team right now. Mm -hmm and see where we're at, you know, and that's what I'm excited about, just competing at that level early on in the season. Ultimately, we want to peak at the end of the season, but this will give us kind of a barometer of where we're at right now and then where hopefully we're, we will be later on in the season with some good training and some good matches underneath us. I know we're quite a few months away from it, but they've obviously resurfaced the courts in here, new lighting. You guys are playing really well. Do you feel that the, the fan base is grasped just how big of a deal it is that you guys are hosting the national championships this year? I hope so. I mean, <laughs> this could be the last time we ever host. You know, there's you never know what's going to happen. I think there's there's some talk of having uh, men's and women's tennis having like an Omaha type of deal with baseball, like just one location, which could be in Orlando with the USTA Center. Um, so it's really just real special to to host and prestigious to host the NCAA. So we're. I think this year is, is about opportunity, you know, trying to get there. Um, you know, our program has never made Elite Eight uh, in the history of our Oklahoma State men's tennis program. So this is the opportunity. This is the year you want to do it. But you, you just, like I said, I mean, every coach is going to say one match at a time. But it's a long way away. But we're really excited to host, and we're going to try our hardest to, to get there. And I, I think, like, this weekend's a good start, you know. Give us, if we can play well, I think if we play well, good things will happen and it'll be a good start to the road to the NCAAs in Stillwater. Do you have a message to the fans uh, of the season you're expecting this year and especially following that up the upwards of the, the championship atmosphere we're expecting this year? Yeah, we have a great team. Uh, I think it's it's a great it's a great deal for everyone. You get to come in here in the Greenwood Tennis Center. It's free admission. It's a free <laughs> pizza. I mean, what else do you want? As good want? as it gets, you know? yeah. We don't have massage chairs, but <laughs> it's pretty comfortable. Um, you know, we just have great athletes. I mean, it's mm. the best college tennis you can, you can play. So mm. for people to come out and see that, and then the culmination being at NCAA in Stillwater, why wouldn't you want to be a part of that? Mm. I mean, I, I think we have a great college town 
but we have a, a lot of support because it's a small college town. It's not saturated with a lot of pro sports, things like that. So everyone kind of bleeds orange. And, uh, you know, when you're hosting something so, so big like this, in the past I see that, you know, the locals really tag along and try to get involved. And I'm hoping that we get a lot of that support this year. Sure. All good, guys? Yeah, good. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks.